Mary runs a large online shoe retailer. She wants to advertise her shoes with Google. To do this, she needs to create a list with up-to-date information about all her products. She already has the information on her website. Depending on where her product data is, she can choose how to give it to Google. Option 1. Use a Product Information Management e-commerce platform or feed management tool. Companies that already use e-commerce platforms can look to their platform for the best way to connect with Google Shopping. The same goes for product information management systems or feed management tools. Google also offers a way for several e-commerce platforms to create feeds automatically. Option 2. Manually create a feed. Businesses who don't use automated programs have other options. They could put a data dump into Google Shopping's format with their favorite spreadsheet application, such as Google Sheets. This is a good option for businesses that have less than 10,000 products and whose product data doesn't change often. Use the template and the Google Merchant Center add-on to pull data from your website and update your product information with a push of a button. A tab delimited file is also a handy spreadsheet format to use. You can include lots of products and you can easily upload it to the Merchant Center. The only drawback is that you have to manually update your product information in your spreadsheet and re-export the file. Some systems can also create a tab delimited or XML file automatically. Then you can tell Merchant Center to regularly fetch that file from your server or upload it to one of Google's servers. Option 3. Create a feed using the Content API. The Content API works great for companies with lots of products or product updates. But you also need a dedicated IT team. So this option is only recommended for sophisticated retailers. It is the best way to keep products updated on Google and they appear more quickly than any other option. Mary decides Content API is the best option for her and tells her developer to set it up and submit the product data. Now they just need to make sure they keep the data up to date. If product info changes on her website and isn't updated in Merchant Center, her ads will stop running. Mary keeps her data updated and her business thrives. For more tips on how to improve your product feed, visit the Google Merchant Center help page.